Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to generate a simple random email. So first of all we're going to import a module called random. Now we're going to create a function called generate random email. So this is the function generate random email. Okay, I'm going to create a variable here called randnum, which is a random number. That's going to be equal to random dot rand int. So that's going to generate a random integer, and I'm going to put it between, let's say, uh, 1,000 to uh, let's say. Nine 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 nine. Okay, so it's going to generate a random number, random integer number between one thousand to nine hundred and ninety nine. Nine 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 thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. Okay, so the random email. Whoops. Rand. E. The. Uh, characters on my keyboard are worn so uh, I'm having a few problems at the moment with it so bear with me okay so this is uh, rand email here okay it's going to be equal to and I'm just going to put just a simple name there like Paul uh, at my domain dot com this is just an example, by the way, at mydomain.com. So, uh, I'm going to format that. Okay. With uh, the random number. Okay. And then we're going to print rand email. It's going to print as a random email. And I'm going to print another message asking you to generate another. Okay, so do you want to generate another random <coughs> email? Whoops. Finish that off properly. So, entry is equal to input. Um, we're going to get some user input whether they want to generate another random email. So if entry dot lower is equal to y. Okay, the dot lower here just means that uh, if anybody types in um, capital letter or something like that, it will re reduce it to y, so it won't throw an error. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the function generate random email else. So if the user has typed in anything else, uh, we're just going to quit. So print mm, you chose. To exit. Okay, so you chose to exit, and that's just going to be quit here. And uh, now all we've got to do is call the function. So we'll call it using generate random email. Okay, so this is just a very, very simple example. So we're just going to save that there, and uh, we're going to run the program. So here we go. Uh, okay, so that's that's the first random email. So generate another, yes. Okay, so we've got Paul1535. Uh, generate another, yes. Uh, Paul122116. Okay, so generated some random emails there. So there you go. Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. 
and uh, remember to give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button it will take you one second thank you very much for doing that and I'll catch you in another video bye de bye